Hi everyone and welcome to another Langmuir Systems Fusion 360 tutorial video. In the last video we covered importing DXF files and using canvases to trace. In this video we'll cover moving our sketch within the workspace, copying the sketch to duplicate, and scaling the sketch to different sizes, as well as previewing what the sketch will look like when cut of different thicknesses of material. Let's get started by right clicking Edit Sketch. I'm going to deselect certain constraints to simplify the overall view. From the Modify drop-down menu, select Move slash Copy. Notice that you can also use the M hotkey on your keyboard to pull up this menu. Now click and drag a box around the sketch to select it. Use these sideways arrows to move the sketch along a horizontal line, which will not allow it to move up and down. Use the arrow pointing up to move your sketch along a vertical line, which will not allow it to move to the side. Clicking and dragging this square icon will allow you to freely move it anywhere. Clicking and dragging this circle icon will allow you to freely rotate it. You can also use the X distance and Y distance boxes in the palette area to move it very precisely. In this next example, we'll cover copying and duplicating the sketch. Click and drag a box around the sketch to select it, then right click it. Select the copy option. Note that you can also use the control C keys on your keyboard to copy the sketch. Deselect the part by clicking anywhere else in the plane. Now that we've copied our sketch, right click the plane and select the paste option. Note that you can also use the control V buttons on your keyboard to paste as well. The part that we copied will be pasted directly on top of the original, and the Move menu will automatically open, with the copy selected. Now we'll move the copy off of the top of the original, using any of the methods to move the part, and then clicking OK. To make another copy, you don't need to copy the original part again. All you need to do is paste again. In this next example, we'll cover scaling our sketches. I'll keep the original unaltered to show how the effects of scaling modify the part. From the Modify drop-down menu, select Sketch Scale. Now select the sketch geometry you wish to scale, in this case the middle bottle opener. Next, select any point not contained in the selection to use as a reference. Your selected sketch will scale towards or away from the selected point. The scale factor value will allow us to define exactly how we want to scale our sketch. A value of less than 1 will shrink it. Now we'll do the same for the top bottle opener, but we'll expand it by a scale factor of 2, doubling its overall size. As you can see, we can just as easily triple or quadruple its size, but we'll stick to just double the size for this example. Next, we'll use the extrude feature to preview what our part will look like when cut from a specified thickness of material. At the top of the page, switch to the Solid Design workspace. The Extrude tool can be found right next to the Create Sketch button in the Solid workspace. Note that you can also use the hotkey E on your keyboard to pull up the Extrude menu. Next, click the profile of a completed 2D sketch. We'll use our larger bottle opener. Simply enter the decimal value of the material you're going to cut the part from, then click OK. Adding the decimal value of 0.125 inches gives a 1 8 inch 3D body to our sketch, and the viewing cube can be used to see the 3D part from different angles. Thank you for watching another Langmuir Systems tutorial video. Join us in the next video where we cover sketch text.